Hi everyone, welcome back to GeForce. We're touring around GDC and looking at some VR stuff that we really like. And I'm here with Nick, the lead designer of VR at Epic Games. And we want to know, what's the state of VR for you guys and around the industry? VR is something that we've been spending a lot of energy on recently. You know, we have our VR editor toolkit. We're at the point now where we're really trying to find the essence of what that is for developers. And I think we're starting to find some of those little things in there, you know. For Robo Recall, we started using it, especially early on in development, to kind of lay out a lot of our our scenes to find scale, you know, switching back and forth between your headset and your PC can be a kind of a, a laborious thing over time. So we've got two competing headsets, obviously. There's the HTC Vive and the Oculus, now with the touch controls. Yeah. What do these two different headsets also mean for developers? And maybe consumers looking to buy one or the other? Yeah, I mean, the people working on the VR editor at Epic, I think like half of them have Oculus, half of them have Vives. They're on a very similar playing field right now. I think they're probably going to keep kind of jumping over each other bit by bit by bit. And I think it's a really good thing. That kind of really close competition is going to be a great thing for consumers in the long run. One of the things I love about VR is that we're getting entirely new ways to play games. So with you guys as designers, what's that opening up for you guys? It's opened up like a huge number of possibilities from even just regular games where, you know, you, the way you approach an interaction is to press a button. Whereas in VR, it kind of there's actually a whole bunch of kind of design affordances. So it's this kind of new world of, of design problems and it's really exciting. It's a, it's a fun place to be. What do you think the, the next major step is for VR that it has to take to kind of reach a broader audience and yeah, wide yeah. adoption? Well, you know, obviously price is a big point there, but, you know, the holy grail as far as we're concerned, right, is when mobile meets the high-end PC. The cords are gone, you've got full tracking, things like eye tracking I think are going to be super cool, having your hands tracked obviously as well. It's just all of these little things that keep adding up are going to increase the quality of VR as it goes on. There's also the issue of, right, you got to get games to market, but Epic Games is putting stuff out, right? right. Exactly. You know, we're trying to get out there to kind of increase the value proposition for a consumer in VR because, you know, there's that typical circular dependency problem of needing more people in the user base to sell more games and those people need more value in the platform before they want to buy in in the first place. So we're trying to do our part to kind of increase the value of the platforms uh, of VR in general. So they're putting out more tools for developers, more games, NVIDIA's putting out more cards that are VR ready, and it all adds up that VR is just about here. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to GeForce. Thanks again, Nick, for talking to us. Have a great day, you guys.